I think it lasts for about 40 seconds and then as the earth moves, yeah, he needs to readjust every yeah. 30 seconds. Look, they switch to handheld. Are they yeah. doing it handheld? Yeah, so I think Masha it works better. It's much better. Perfect. Oh my God. It's, <laughs> hey, wow. Oh my God, it looks beautiful. In March 2019, LACMA's Art and Technology Lab Grant recipient, I.R. Bach, presented a performance from his project, I Want to Know. The performance used mirrors in the hills of Los Angeles to create a triangular light drawing. The work was inspired by the artist's encounter with strange flashing lights while camping in the mountains in Mexico. So when I start looking at these lights, I immediately sensed that there was something very odd about them, very unusual. The first thing that comes to mind is, okay, there, there must be some explanation to them that I don't understand right now. To better understand this mysterious phenomenon, the artist made multiple fieldwork trips into the volcanic field outside Mexico City. On these trips, he attempted to document the lights at various sites close to where he had his first encounter. So far, I have explored maybe some 12 sites. Most of the sites, if not all of them, have a relationship to a ceremonial site. They are related to these vantage points from where you can control valleys, you can control the access to certain regions. So they, they have a functionality, but they also have this relationship to these mountains where the phenomenon happened. LACMA is actually right there. You see that building over there? This is about five miles distance. Nested in the Santa Monica Mountains, the Griffith Observatory overlooks the city of Los Angeles. To create the triangular light drawing, Box stationed volunteers with signaling mirrors at the observatory. The light cast from the mirrors were visible from the upper floors of LACMA's BCAM building. So the mirrors are going to be placed right here on this balcony. This is going to be the top part of the triangle. The other two points are going to be down below. We ended up using signaling mirrors. They were, I think, invented uh, by the Army, the U.S. Army in the Second World War. So we're, we're going to be forming the triangle using these di different positions. The installation would become more of a performance. So we, we, we could say it's a mix between a land art installation and a performance because uh, these mirrors have to be set up uh, by people. Uh, so we have volunteers uh, working for the, for the event that actually have trained into how to uh, position and how to signal uh, using those mirrors. The, the reason for the equilateral triangle is because it really is the most abstract way of saying that there is an intention. So it is really a symbol. What I'm trying to symbolize here is consciousness. If you draw a straight line anywhere, you will have coincidences. The concept of forming patterns becomes very ambiguous because you can fall into the situation where you find coincidences anywhere and, and, and it's just how you make sense of them. By linking two of the city's emblematic buildings, one devoted to science, and the other to art. The performance recreated the ancient practice of astronomical alignment while also highlighting a relationship in time and space. What I'm trying to present here is a what if there was another form of intelligence that we don't see. And what would that mean? It's really the first time that this kind of phenomenon is presented in a museum context. Really, the I Want to Know project is about presenting these why questions as well as a what if. That's probably uh, what, what the project really is about.